Hello everybody, Norma Boko here. I'm your host from LA Spectacular with Norma V and I am so excited that I have this wonderful freelancer, a writer, and so many things that he's gonna talk to us about, Mr. Cesar Arredondo. So welcome, yay! Hi everybody, <laughs> it's a pleasure being here with oh, you. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy you're here. So, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. Um, you know, as I told you, I am a freelance journalist. Yeah. Uh, I started back in the early 1990s. Okay. Journalism is my passion. Mm -hmm. I've been able to do it both in, I've been blessed to be able to do it both in English and Spanish. And uh, well, I'll be a journalist for life. Wow. Um, the interesting thing is that uh, when I was in high school, I did high school in Mexico. Uh -huh. Uh, what I, part of Mexico are you from? Uh, from Los Mochis, Sinaloa. Ooh, Los Mochis, Sinaloa. Yes. Un saludo a todos los Mochis, humid, Sinaloa. Hot city. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to be, I was in high school, wanted to be, I would read an article on uh, genetic engineering. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to do that. I want to discover the cure for cancer. Okay. I would read an article about astronauts. Oh, wow. I want to go to space. I want to be that too. Yeah. I mean, I would just change just uh -huh. based, well, based yeah, on what I read. Yeah, we were in high school, yeah. you don't know what you want to do. But somebody said, you're very, you talk with your hands, you're very communicative and, and you're a Gemini. Have you ever considered <gasps> you're being... You're a Gemini. We're full of Geminis here. <laughs> the coolest people in the world. When is your birthday? Um, June 13th. <gasps> Just passed. Yes. Happy belated birthday. Yes. Should we just sing happy birthday? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Happy <laughs> birthday oh my to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cesar. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God. Yay. Thank you guys. Thank Happy you. belated birthday. Um, my pleasure. I mean, it's, 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 it's my pleasure being here now. You're singing happy birthday to me. It's like, wow. Thank you. Oh, no, what a treat. No. What a treat. I am a blessed man. There you go. So can you tell us a little bit, I, I know you talk about you being in high school and you wanted to be an engineer and an astronaut and then all of a sudden somebody tells you, okay, maybe you should be an artist or, you know, start writing. But um, how was your upbringing over there in Mexico? I was blessed to be um, born, uh, first of all, I was born in, in the Sonoran city of mm -hmm. Navojoa. Okay. But, um, so hot uh, over my there, grandparents right? very hot yeah but uh, my grandparents picked me up and raised me uh, as their own um, in a little village n near Los Mochis okay. so I think I was very blessed to be uh, brought up and raised in a, a small village mm -hmm. because here I am like decades later being in one of the biggest cities in the world LA yeah and I, I have the I had the best of wor both both worlds yeah that I just Cherish it oh. because because I know what life in the, in uh, the countryside is, yeah. and I know what life in the big city, uh -huh. and uh, uh, it allows me not to look down on people from rural America. No, it's just they're no, they're, yeah. they're like everybody else, mm -hmm. uh, and it's so important to to create bridges between people that can be so different just because of their background. Mm -hmm, nobody's mm -hmm. better, nobody's worse. We're just different. Yeah, and everything is beautiful and valid. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. So, so you're a ranchero. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a cowboy. With other boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. So, and then when you came to United States, you know, it's like coming from Mexico to here, what was like the biggest transition for you? Well, it was, I always aspired to come to the States because mm -hmm. I was the last of uh, three siblings who was born in Mexico. Okay. Then uh, when that happened, my mother left us with our grandparents, mm -hmm. with my grandparents, and, and she came to the States. So I grew up there until I was 19, but I always, I knew my, my, my mother would visit, you know, mm -hmm. um, throughout the years. And, and of course you hear about the States and you know, you wanna join your mother and, yeah, and, and the course. culture and the music. Yeah, so, uh, and, the, and, the, and the clothing. Everything. That's one, one thing when I was in Mexico that I was just like, oh my God, I love the clothing from the United States, you know? Yeah, I, I, would, I would buy magazines that had the <laughs> lyrics of songs yeah. and, and record myself singing those songs yeah, with yeah. a heavy accent. Uh -huh. Donna Summer singing Donna Summer when I'm like 14 years old. Yeah. 
and, and many others. Uh -huh. uh, so I, I, I love the language. There was something about the English language that it always appealed to me, mm -hmm. and, and, and the culture and the movies. So yeah. I said, I'm going to go there eventually. Mm -hmm. I did. And I've been here since 1984 okay. and uh, was able to pursue some college education here. That's how I became a journalist. I said, somebody mentioned uh, as a good Gemini, I could be a reporter. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Haven't looked back ever since. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, I and, love and I started I love working, story. working with small community newspapers uh -huh. and one of the best experiences in my life because much more relaxed than working in a daily. But I went out uh, to work in papers like La Opinion, mm -hmm. uh, freelancing, mm -hmm. uh, La Opinion. Um, okay, can, I'm sorry to interrupt, but can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit, a lot of people don't know what a freelance is. What, oh, what is a that? freelancer is an independent um, uh, journalist who works for whomever hires them to do articles. So you go and look for the story and then you sell it? Um, that's an option, or okay. people know that you're the writer, uh, mm -hmm. writer and they contact you and say, can you uncover this for us? Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And as a freelancer, you just make it work for yourself. Yeah. And I've, I've pretty much been, I mean, I, I worked full time for um, several companies, but uh -huh. uh, being a freelancer, you have all the flexibility in the world. Uh -huh. You don't have the paycheck regularly every uh -huh. week, but you know, one thing for the other. It yeah. gives you a lot of flexibility and work on whatever in the world you want. Yeah. So besides the, uh, the, the newspapers that you have where you also work on TV, right? Uh, a little, yes. Can you tell uh, us a little bit about that, with, uh, about that and then what's the difference between the uh, newspaper and then the TV? Well, when I was attending East LA College, which is where I studied journalism, mm -hmm. um, uh, I got involved also in, in school politics. So because of that, I was invited to a, uh, a small Spanish language TV show. Oh, cool. Uh, a public service program mm -hmm. about issues of, of, of uh, education mm -hmm. and the like. And I said, oh my God, I love this. <laughs> you and, got the bug. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 I, and I told uh, the director of the show mm -hmm. and um, I did the smartest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. I knew that I wanted to be there, uh, but I didn't want to like, be pester him, you know. Uh, I, I, I would call him like at 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. calling his office. I knew, I knew that he wasn't working. Uh, that the phone, Wait, the, you were calling at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, but the, his office, his office. Ah. So <laughs> I wouldn't bother him, I would leave a message. Ah, okay. And I, I would say, hi, this is Cesar, I'm still interested in working for you. Whenever there's a chance, let me know, you know? Yeah. Months later, I got the call, so I got to pretty much... See, being persistent, uh, Yes, and calling people, I mean their offices, and leaving messages without bothering people. Yeah. And well, I got the call, because I persisted. So how often would you call? Uh, I would call uh, every two or three weeks oh, okay. and, and, you know, and, and it worked. So we, ha we have to figure out how to get the job we want. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's how it happened. So it was very gratifying to work in public service programs and television because we mm -hmm. deal with important issues in our community, mm -hmm. live TV. And I got to write scripts. I got to... You mean uh, for movies? Uh, no, for um, um, t uh, TV programs. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you, you still have to write like a script for the intro and the presentation, oh, okay. the introduction of the guest. So I did pretty much, because of circumstances, I ended up building the whole show from A to Z. Because oh, wow. I was the only person there doing it. Mm -hmm. Some pe people went on vacation, so I, suddenly the opportunity was there, and I just ran with it. <laughs> and, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It, it, you know, but written journalism is my passion. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I do the most. Mm -hmm. Eventually, also work as um, an audience director for the uh, Maria Conchita TV show for Telemundo. Okay. We also produced that. You here. mean the singer Maria Conchita? Yes. Maria Conchita. He's talking about Maria Conchita Alonso. Yeah, famous uh, a, singer and yeah. actress. I mean, mm -hmm. she was. She worked with. She has worked with uh, big shots in Hollywood like Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, uh, famous comedian. Um, well, not comedian. Uh, Champagne and many others. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, it's very proud of, of working with her because she's b both very talented and experienced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I did a little bit of radio because yeah. as a journalist, you just want to try to see, yeah, you know, find your place. Yeah. But uh, and I'll, uh, I'm still pursuing something like that, mm -hmm. leaning more towards uh, film right now mm -hmm. uh, or maybe shows on television. Mm -hmm. um, but um, uh, I will continue writing because that's, that's... That's so awesome. You know, we were talking about once you find the thing that the the thing that you love, you just ran with it, you know, because it doesn't matter what where you are is where you're gonna end up, you know. Yep. So. Yep. And, you, and believe me, as a freelancer, it can be a struggle. 
Mm -hmm. but I knew what I was getting into and I, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm broke, but yes. I'm happy. Uh -huh. So what's the difference between working on the newspaper and when then working on TV? The format of the writing is different. Ah, okay. Uh, you, 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 one thing, uh, uh, as a writer, it's great to, to learn uh, writing uh, for different platforms. Okay. Uh, with, uh, with, uh, with television, it needs to be much more direct and conversational. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in writing, you have so much flexibility to, to use long sentences and give a lot of information. Okay. And people still are able to, to follow the thread of the mm -hmm. thought. Mm -hmm. uh, television is different. Yeah. Uh, writing news yeah, for TV. Yeah, because you have to have the attention of the, uh, yes. of the person and, and that short, is watching. Shorter sentences, usually. Oh because people cannot just follow a very long <laughs> Like a monologue, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that's one of the differences. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, and usually, I mean, you have the limit of time in television, yeah. so that's another big difference. And what I like about writing for both newspapers, now the internet, is yeah. that if you need to write a long story, uh -huh. space, you have more space. Yeah. In television, you have news item, one minute, a, a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes most. I mean, three minutes is already long. Yeah. So it's different. TV see, is much more direct. See, that, I, I think this is so cool because we have never had a guest that, it, you know, that, it, that is doing what you do. And oh, so I didn't really know the difference between, you know, like the newspaper or a blog and then the TV, that, you know, because I thought writing is just the same. But it's not. And what happens now with blogs or, or, or news and uh, stuff on the internet is that, you know, our attention span is limited. I know, 30 so seconds. And the, if you, the articles you if you are shorter. Yeah, uh -huh. They're in writing, but shorter. Yeah, and what did they say? Like three seconds in order for you to grab the attention of that person? And, and if not, they're just going to... And when it comes to writing, like for me, it's yeah. different for each person. But for me, if I don't have the lead, the first uh, introduction to my article, I can't move on. Uh -huh. uh, I can uh, sometimes, you know, you writer's that. block, I, and <laughs> it takes me an hour, two hours to get that. Yeah. And once I'm done with that, yeah. the rest of it, I can finish it fast. Wow. Because it's so important to grab people's attention exactly. and to tell people exactly what you're writing about. Because mm -hmm. sometimes if we're, if we're not careful, we, we have the most important information buried in the, in the article, in the middle of it. That's not the way it's supposed to be. So in it has writing. to be in the beginning. At the beginning. Tell us, tell us what this is all about to see in, in an interesting way uh -huh. so I can read the rest of it. So have you ever thought about teaching new, you know, like new generations what you know? I wanted to be a, a university professor. Oh, really? Uh, I think because that's I think not going to happen. Because I think it's just so incredible, you know, I mean, like I had no idea that you have to, you know, have certain, mm -hmm. certain, uh, what? Structures, structures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, skill, yeah. Well, I did um, volunteer. They asked me to volunteer to cheat to teach a little bit of journalism, or at least the, the journalism style, to students at a, um, a high school in downtown Los Angeles. Okay. It's very close to my heart. Uh -huh. So I did it for two years and a half as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And you know, I tried. And but to be a teacher, you need. I mean, you need more patience than I have. <laughs> I know, especially nowadays, right? Yeah, and, but, uh, but uh, uh, it's a great school. It was a great uh, opportunity. It's called the Los Angeles school, school of Global Studies. They're trying to prepare our kids to go out into the world and you know, have a positive change. Yeah. So to be able to help them realize how important writing is, mm -hmm. um, that's the best thing I could do for them. Mm -hmm. And I would tell them, you know, get your pencil out, first class, pencil out. I'm going to give you the secret to success. Um, Number one, writing. Second, writing. Third, writing. And I look at him like, is he crazy? <laughs> and I go, guess what the other two will be? Writing. writing. Yeah, writing and writing. is one of the most important skills that you can have yeah. and which will give you an edge over anybody else. If you have two people of any profession uh -huh. are going for the same job okay. and you're a better writer, you get the job. Mm -hmm. Writing is extremely important. There you go. So writing, 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 writing. <laughs> yes. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, what makes you, you know, happy? What do you do when you're not writing? I know writing is your passion, but you know, like. Well, I, I still get a lot of. Um, 
pride yeah. when I see my name on, on my articles. Yeah. I remember it's, it's like the same, the first time that I did, uh, I, I saw my articles published in, in my school newspaper uh -huh. at Estelle College. Yeah. It was like a highlight. Like a wow. <laughs> like, like I've made it. Yeah. And then you see, uh, I, I would see my um, byline in English or Spanish in newspapers like La Opinion or the OC Register or uh, the Ventura County Star and or, or national publication like Latino, Latino Leaders magazine uh -huh. and it never gets old because it's your work mm -hmm. and, and sometimes you just write the article and then you see it published and it's, it's like you're like wow oh my god yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a rush no it is it is mm -hmm. yeah. so I'll be a reporter for the rest of my life but but I, I'm still pursuing you know opportunities in television yeah uh, I, I I like writing and mm -hmm. and um, pursuing film and different um, wearing different hats, uh, including writing, you know. Um, I see a script and I can say, uh, improve here, you know, uh, constructively, yeah. g giving some input to make sure that things are accurate, that mm -hmm. they flow, that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And um, again, being a writer, you can just adapt to a new uh, platform, mm -hmm. a new uh, outlet, yeah. and, and, and bring all of your skills and, and make it work. Cool, so can you tell us where people can find you? Well, um, like I mentioned, I worked for all these different newspapers, but it's been my dream to uh, create a, a, a set of different platforms, blogs, mm -hmm. and news websites where I can explore the news that I care about, mm -hmm. um, where I have experience, and what I think is needed in our community. Uh, our communities in America, the Latino community, and everyone else, they need quality, reliable information. Mm -hmm and uh, uh, it's important um, to have that and I want to continue contributing with that quality information so people can do well-informed decisions mm -hmm. to look for opportunities to improve their lives yeah. that's the type of journalism I, I enjoy and I, I love entertainment too mm -hmm. but I, when it comes to entertainment I try to focus on the art of the entertainers yeah. you know um, because our, our artists have so much to offer and sometimes we yeah, I understand people wanted to find out about their lives and, you know, the gossip. And that's okay, I understand that. Uh -huh. But uh, to me, as a writer, it's much more important to see uh, and find out about their music, their, their, their acting, mm -hmm. their films, whatever they do, because artists make our life so much better. Mm -hmm. In the pandemic, oh, where would we do? Yeah. Um, what, what would we be? <laughs> <laughs> if it hadn't been, that. you know, yeah. all those films yeah. uh, online mm -hmm. when we were in the pandemic, mm -hmm. we would have gone nuts. So I, I love actors because they helped us get through that. And many other artists. Have you ever thought about acting? Yes. Yeah. But you know, but, but, uh, <laughs> You're not too convinced. <laughs> well, the, 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 the thing, this is the thing. And yeah. that, that's what I would tell parents out there is, you need to encourage your kids to pursue their dreams. And if you see some potential, you let them know yeah. so they can at least explore it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, uh, in me, even though I've been a writer, and, uh, they say, well, but you're an artist because you're a writer. Yeah, but my writing is very technical. It's journalism, mm -hmm. it's just news. There's a structure for it. Um, I don't consider that like art, art, art uh, mm -hmm. uh, as an actor. But it is art. But, and, but I never got the training. Oh, okay. And then people see the look and they say, must be an actor. Nope. Uh, and I know that if I were to pursue that, yeah. I would have to go to school. Some, there are many actors out there who are natural. I'm not. I know I have the potential. Mm -hmm. But again, so, so does everybody else. If we uh, don't um, study and polish that potential and develop mm -hmm. it, grow it, you know, um, you're not going to be good. Yeah, yeah. So you may be blessed with the, 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 the potential, mm -hmm. but we have to work at it. Yeah. And I haven't worked on it. But uh, I, I know. Muscle, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Go to school. Uh, even if it's just, doesn't have to be at the university. It would be great if that's the case, but uh, get the training mm -hmm. and never stop training. The great actors of, of, of the world. Um, uh, they never stop going to school. Mm -hmm. They never uh, stop exploring. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are uh, perennial, you know, um, um, students. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I'm, I'm more focusing on the production side yeah. of it, mm -hmm. um, script supervision. Uh, I'm the best production assistant in the world. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I've realized that and I don't mind saying that because I'm a hard worker in projects that I love. Okay. Yeah, but I, wanna, I, I want to pursue something more on the production mm -hmm. side. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing your experience and sharing your life. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> and it's always uh, great to, to, to be a guest with someone as talented and, and beautiful as you. Oh, thank and talking you. about, you know, uh, things that hopefully somebody out there will, will learn from and uh, improve their lives. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's always someone for some, there's somebody for, for something that they're looking for. Yes. And so, you know, and if somebody stumbles up on, up on this video and they hear your story, you know, I think it's just, it just awesome, you know? Yeah. So uh, our, our, our children and youth need to know that in this country you can yeah. achieve so much. The opportunities out there. Yeah. Uh, never assume that, that you cannot do it, that someone won't give you an opportunity. You always go for it. You have to study uh, hard. You have to work hard and look for up the opportunities if they don't come your way. Mm -hmm. And parents need to encourage their kids to be like that because uh, uh, kids need it, kids need it. Well, okay, so see, that's a great, a great um, uh, advice for everybody that is out there Thank that, you. you know, sometimes they're kind of wondering what they want to do. So tell us where they can find your social media so they can, you know, if, if somebody wants to get in touch with you, you know, they can do it. Well, uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I use some of the pl some platforms more than others. My uh, handle on Instagram and uh, Twitter is my initials uh, C A S Freelancer, oh, okay. reporter, uh, and just look for this space. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. My and pleasure. so I hope that all your dreams come through and, and you know, and this show can help you do that, you know. Thank so, you. So. Muchas gracias. <laughs> sí, también habla español. <laughs> Muy, mucho obrigado. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Norma Boco, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys. <laughs>